Good afternoon, everybody. This is Joel Cortex, Senior Librarian at Ex Libris, and today we're going to be discussing using Alma Analytics with data visualization to create a forecast. We're doing this using the OAS, the Oracle Analytics Server, which is an integral part of the Ex Libris Higher Education Platform. So let's jump right in and see how this works. So here we are in Alma and we choose analytics and we choose data visualization and we click data visualization and we arrive in the data visualization and let's create a project and we're going to create our forecast based on expenditures of physical and electronic material for the last X years so we'll choose the funds expenditure subject area and I can view these subject areas as they are now in a grid. I can also view them in a list by clicking here and I can start to filter fund expenditure. So we've opened a project with the fund expenditure subject area. Let's choose which fields we want to appear. I'm going to extend the left pane so we got a little more room here and let's take the expenditure amount for electronic format and let's take the expenditure amount for physical but we may have to first change the format here you can see by default it gave us a tile visualization let's change that to a table at least for starters so now we've got the electronic format we'll bring the physical format here and now we've got them both and if we're going to make a forecast, we're going to have a line graph. And for that, we need a measure. So let's take the transaction date year. So here we are in the transaction date. And we'll take the transaction date year. Here it is. And we'll bring that one in as well. Just dragging it over. So now we've got three fields. The transaction expenditure amount for electronic, for physical, and the year let's put the year over here just so it looks a little nicer okay uh and let's put this into a line graph for now so we'll say visualization and line graph and there we are now you can see that for 2020 it's very, it, it starts going down from 2019 to 2020 because we don't have all of 2020 yet. And let's take 1988, 1980, 1998, 99, very low, zero. Let's go 2000 to 2019 or 1990 to 2019. The more years we have, the more, the more probable our prediction is. We need... The, be the more data we have, the better the prediction. So let's take from 1990 to 2019, because we want a full year. And there's two ways to do that. There's actually more than two ways, but let's focus on two ways. So one way would be to take this year, drag it up to the filter, and start filtering and say, I want 1990, 91, 92, etc. And then I have whatever years I choose. However, Let's not do that right now. I'm going to delete that one. We're going to run a, a write an SQL here. Again, we could drag this up and do it manually and say, I want whatever years I want, 2019, 2018, 2017, 2016, whatever. Or we can write an SQL. Now, the advantage if we write an SQL is we can always say start one year ago because if we say 2019, 2018, etc., cetera, then next year we're going to have to rewrite it to include 2020. So let's delete this filter and instead let's come down here and say filters add expression filter. So right now we have all, all years here because we don't have a filter on top. We're going to add an expression filter, and now we can take any year. So let's put in the transaction date and say we want the year 
of the transaction date. Again, this isn't mandatory, but some people like to write these SQLs. We'll say the year of the transaction date, for example, uh, is less than or equal to the year of timestamp add SQL TSI year minus one, so it's always going one year ago from the current date. And then I'll close that parentheses, close the next parentheses. And just to make sure I didn't make any errors here, I can click validate and it says calculation validated, everything is good, and apply. Okay, so now we no longer have 2020. It's all automatically saying, give me less one year ago. So next year, it'll give me 2020, and two years, it'll give me 2021, etc. It's always giving me one year ago. And I see here that I have the transaction date year on the bottom, and the expenditures got moved to the color here. We have one in the y-axis and one in the color. Let's put them both in the y-axis. And here we go. So now we see the electronic format is the blue. You can see they both rose around this around the, equally. And then here between 2016 and 2017, the electronic overtook the physical. You see that right here. Here it overtook the physical, kept going up from 2016 to 2018. Then it came down a bit, but the electronic also came down a bit. Excuse me, the physical also came down a bit. So here they crossed over. And from 2018 to 2019, they both came down. So here's where the electronic and the physical crossed over. Or to put it another way, the electronic overtook the physical. Okay, now we want to do the forecast. We want to see what would happen in the future here. So we can say, right-click, edit or excuse me, add statistics, forecast. And now it's gonna start adding a forecast. And there are various types of forecasts. You can see on the bottom here that it says ARIMA. It says seasonal ARIMA. Now there are different kinds of forecasts. There's ARIMA and ETS are the big ones. I'm just gonna go into Google for a minute here. And if I write ARIMA ETS, forecast. You'll see there's all kinds of theories about how they work, which one's better, etc., etc. These aren't ones that Exlibris has made up or even that, that the Oracle has made up, the Oracle Analytics server. These are standard ways of doing a forecast. So right now, we've, we have by default here the seasonal ARIMA. You can see on the bottom left here, it says seasonal ARIMA. And I like the regular ARIMA, personally. You can play around on your own which one you like. I'm going to choose the ARIMA. And I can also say how many periods I want. Instead of three periods, which in our case would be years, because that's the period, I'm going to say six. So now it's going to give us, it's working now. You can see this blue line here is moving to the right. It's going to give us six years of a forecast based on the ARIMA. We've also got a prediction interval here of 95. We'll talk about that either later or another time. So now let's see what we've got here. Um, it ends here 2019. It bases on its own what is a period and it moves forward that many periods. And if you look here, you can see, let's make that here. Let's drag this one here. So you can see here what it's doing. Uh, the, gr the green is just going down, and the blue, you can see, continues down, then it comes up again, then it comes down again. And it's following the same patterns that it was doing in the past. It came up, went down, went up, went down. So same thing here in the future. It's coming up, it's coming down, and that's the forecast of the comparison of the electronic expenditure and the physical expenditure using data visualization. Thank you very much and have a nice